Start the installation process by finding out if the car manufacturer has issued a service bulletin with special procedures for turbo replacement. Order a new Nissan's turbo with an included gasket set. Using our web catalog, you can find the right part by means of OE or other manufacturer numbers, as well as see complete technical information on the Nissan's turbo. Order other parts needed for the installation. Oil feed and drain lines for the turbo. Engine oil filter. Engine oil. Intake air filter. Hose clamps, seals, and O-rings. And if necessary, intercooler, crankcase ventilation, EGR valve, and charge air hoses and pipes. Proper and thorough troubleshooting is an essential part of the turbo replacement process. Keep in mind, most turbo breakdowns are consequential to other system failures. These must be recognized and eliminated before installing the new turbo. Start with concluding whether the vehicle exhibits any of the following symptoms. Lack of power, excessive smoking, noise emission, engine oil consumption. These are often caused by something other than turbo failures, and their root causes must be eliminated. Check the engine oil level to uncover or eliminate possible issues with lubrication. Run the vehicle's onboard diagnostics to spot any relevant errors. Now, all parts around the turbocharger must be examined. Intercooler. Replace the intercooler whenever its condition is poor, and always replace it if the previous turbo breakdown was caused by seizure. Inlet and exhaust manifold. All pipes and hoses around the turbo. Crankcase pressure and ventilation. Air intake system. Exhaust system, and specifically EGR, diesel particulate filter, and or catalyst. Any faults such as damages, cracks, or contaminations must be eliminated. Replace these parts if necessary. Handle the product with proper care. Turbos are fragile and heavy. Never grab the turbo by the actuator, rods, or the hoses. Never change any settings or calibration on the actuator's rod. Nissan's turbos are first fit products. You will always find the most important installation parts inside the product box. Disconnect and dismount the old turbo from the vehicle. Remove old worn gaskets. Thoroughly clean surfaces of the flanges before fitting the new seals. When installing a Nissan's turbo, it is required to replace the oil filter, the intake air filter, and to fill the engine with fresh, new oil. Now you can fit the new turbo on the vehicle. Remove the protective caps. Make sure no impurities get inside any part of the turbo. These can cause catastrophic damage to the engine and the turbo. Spray new engine oil into the turbo's oil feed hole before connecting the oil feed pipe. Spin the compressor wheel by hand several times. This will rotate the shaft and introduce the fresh oil to the bearings before the initial engine start. Install a new gasket and fit the turbo on the engine block or manifold. Reconnect the exhaust pipe after replacing the O-rings, gaskets, and hose clamps. Ensure the correct gaskets are used. Align the gaskets properly. The center holes of the gasket and the flange must match precisely. Improper gasket position will restrict the flows, thus causing the turbo and the engine to fail. For information on tightening torques and for any further installation instructions, always refer to the vehicle manufacturer specifications. For turbos controlled by actuators with an electronic position sensor, check the condition of the vehicle's wiring and the connection socket. Pay attention to insulation and any signs of breakage or moisture within the connection. If any issue is found, the connection or wiring must be replaced. Plug in carefully the connection stick. Lubrication is crucial for the turbocharger's operation. Proper connection of the oil channels is therefore critically important. We highly recommend installing new oil feed and oil drain lines. If the lines are to be reused, they must be thoroughly cleaned to be free of any inner restrictions, as well as have no bends or abrasions. Remember to mount the heat protective shields if they were originally applied. These prevent the oil lines from oil coking, 
and thus carbonizing if the line is placed too close to an excessive heat source. Install the air inlet and outlet to the turbo compressor housing. Make sure that the connection is leak-proof. If possible, perform a pressure test on the system by means of a leak detector kit. Start the engine and let it idle for about three minutes. Inspect for any air, exhaust gas, or oil leakages. If any are spotted, they must be fixed immediately. Examine the back pressure in the exhaust. Inspect if there is proper oil flow throughout the turbo. You can do this while the engine is idling. We recommend one of the following methods. Measure the oil pressure at the feed line. The proper pressure reading should be between 3 to 4 bars, 40 to 60 psi. Alternatively, check the oil flow throughout the turbo when the drain line is disconnected. Stop the engine. Inspect the system for the correct oil level. Connect the OBD testing equipment once again and reset the previous faults. Now, take the car out for a drive and check if the engine operates properly, running with the expected boost and power. Please remember, a properly fitted Nissan's turbo will serve the engine well throughout its lifespan, ensuring the right power output and driving pleasure. For any further technical information regarding the turbos, visit our website.